Today we're going to do a comparison video between this beautiful audiophile Crosley professional belt driven DC precision motor drive turntable with um, digital USB audio out and also 900 megahertz RF out for your wireless headphones and the phono preamp is built in it has line out as well and we're going to be comparing it to this dinosaur techniques kind of benchmark DJ turntable this is a very well used turntable it was in a nightclub in uh, regular service probably from the mid 80s up into the mid 90s and we're going to compare it to this new model professional Crosley turntable the first thing you'll notice is this professional high quality illustrious chrome plated tone arm and this really well built long lasting plastic clip and you just tell the, the quality and we have a precision balancing mechanism here to no uh, set screw required no set screw required this is uh, this is auto balance, auto balancing depending on how fast the record is going that this will centrifugally move. <laughs> this will centrifugally auto adjust for maximum tracking. maximum tracking and record life. We have a professional military spec power switch with uh, tested for 250,000 cycles and we have a custom machined LED here to a loop ahead. Custom LED power light that will not burn out. Over here to the speed control, you've got 33 and 45 RPM with this sturdy silver knob controlling the action and a detentable click action as you switch speeds. The turntable platter is equipped with anti-slip foam rubber gripper pads and it's also precision balanced at the factory to one ten thousandth of a gram with these uh, adjustments here where they drill out the, the material so it's absolutely perfectly balanced for the high speed of rotation. Bearing is aircraft aluminum. Okay, we've got a general purpose cartridge here with a precision diamond 0.7 mil stereo needle at the at, at the end. It still seems to have plenty of life left in it. Connected to a very generic uh, cartridge. And the precision belt drive with the belt externally located for easy replacement. Precision speed DC motor powering everything. Okay, the, the cabinet is genuine teak wood. Uh, it does need to be oiled, hasn't been oiled in a while. Um, over the years it's taken a, a little hit here and there and underneath to provide the vibration isolation audiophile grade vibration dampeners are uh, attached to the bottom there's four of them here on the back panel we've got the gold plated military spec connectors the line level traditional line level out now this is an amplified output so there's no ground terminal here needed line level 
uh, USB out to connect to your computer. So it's got a built-in analog to digital converter, super high grade, super high accuracy. Uh, there's an RF transmitter on board at 916 megahertz to transmit to wireless headphones. And the whole works is powered by a 9 volt 400 milliamp precision wall wart. I would also like to point out the precision centering of the connectors in the solid teak cabinet with uh, displays the fit and finish of a handcrafted Rolls-Royce. So going to this Techniques 1200 turntable, you have a cheap plastic switch that's kind of sticky, doesn't stick too well. The on-off power is uh, a very cheap feel to it. The speed controls 33 and 45, very little feedback there. Looking down at the support, the audio file grade, at least in their dream support feet, there's very little uh, adjustability here. It's very spongy and won't serve to let you balance the turntable very well. The, um, the mat here will attract dust. It's kind of dirty. And our tone arm with our order farm cartridge, uh, chrome plated plastic and uh, of not very good quality. Speed control is difficult. They knew the motor was not very accurate on speed so they provided a potentiometer here for your speed. Uh, again just evidence of the low quality. I would also like to point out the the lack of of adjustability here how this is just simply a molded plastic chrome plated piece of crap with poor fit and finish of wires sticking out and this needless anti-skate control and uh, gimmicky lever to lift the record the the tone arm off the record um, it's far too complicated. We have, a, we have a really cheap, cheesy, useless light here. And this turntable platter is made out of very cheap, low-quality plastic. And it, it's just, it just has a really cheap feel that it could just fail at any time. And you'll notice this really cheap motor that probably has an hour lifespan of 50, 20 to 50 hours with a really cheap bearing assembly that is noisy and loose. Now we're about to open this foaming piece of trash up. You'll notice that it was manufactured in 2010 and it's already been retired and of course we'll have to zoom in on that right there nice and big and we'd also like to point out that it says imported by and it has an address but imported by who and it says audio output 3 watts. Well, what is it driving 3 watts out of the audio, audio line level? So we'll try and get these screws out and hope the heads don't break off on the way out. We'll take a look at the inside of this piece of crap. Okay, we're about to take a look at what's inside this precision engineered... Look at that. Look at that fine bearing assembly. Genuine hardboard construction with lots of hot glue. Look at the look at the speed switch here. I mean that is precision. Look at that. Quality engineering to last a lifetime. And look at this. Look at this. I've seen first grade arts and crafts projects projects less, so. kindergarten arts and crafts projects that have better hot glue work well we didn't want any wires uh, breaking loose in their cold solder joints and here's the antenna for the 900 megahertz they're actually using the 
hot glue is an insulated standoff. And here's the precision, fine precision quartz controlled microprocessor driven motor with low and high speed fine tuning controls. And here's the uh, Here's the central processing board. Right here, that's the 900 megahertz transmitter, and you can see it's lead free. You'll notice that they carefully designed the unit to minimize the number of electrolytic capacitors for the most reliability. All right, we're currently providing nine volts and uh, I'll let you do the honors on powering this state-of-the-art ooh look at look at that look at how quick that acceleration speed is wow the finest DJs in the world probably good enough for broadcast use Such a finely crafted machine, it's like watching a Rolex keep time. The first thing you'll notice is the excellent damping abilities of the feet. You'll notice the precision voltage regulation for long motor life and integrated circuit stability. Listen to the low noise circuitry. Listen to that. Very low distortion, very low distortion. Low noise, high bandwidth, high quality sound. End of the line for a Crosley model CR6012A. That's Chinese record player 6012 Alpha.